Today, I will show how to integrate OpenAI into Oracle Apex. I will first click on App Builder. Then go to Workspace Utilities and click on All Workspace Utility. After that, I will click on Generate AI. Generative AI service information is stored as a generative AI object. Now I will create a new AI service. Here, we can see various types of AI services, but I will select OpenAI. The name of the generative AI service. The name will be shown in the generative AI services overview page. I have named it AI service. I will set the used by app builder option to yes. After that, I will enter my API key in the API key field. Now, a question may arise, where did I get the API key? Then, let's see how to obtain the API key. First, I will go to the OpenAI website, openai.com. Next, I will click on Login. After logging in, I need to go to Billing Information. Here, you need to add your bank card information. And you need to purchase AI credits with a minimum of $5. After that, I will click on API Keys. Here, I need to create a new secret key, which is my API key. Here, you need to enter a name and click on the Create button, and you will get your API key. The API key you receive will be used in Oracle Apex. This process is very simple. After entering the API key, I will click on Test Connection to check if the API is connected successfully. Yes, my API is connected. Now, I will click on the Create button to set up the AI service. Now, I will go to SQL Workshop and open the SQL Commands section. Here, we can see that the Apex Assistant option has appeared in SQL Commands. We can see that Apex AI Assistant has opened. Now, I can ask any question. First, I typed hello. Now, I will ask the assistant to provide me with the EMP and depth table objects. Next, I asked how to view data from the EMP table. Next, I will ask to create a join between the EMP and depth tables. In the next video, I will show how to use AI in an Oracle Apex application. Thank you for watching the video, 